Kia ora, and welcome to this video on exploring the conductivity of solutions simulation by Greenbow. Firstly, you need to know that solutions need moving charged particles in order to conduct electricity. And we can see this on this FET acid base simulation that you explored last time. Note that more ions, well, the more ions present in solution, the more brightly the light bulb glows. So if I go from strong acid to weak acid, you can see there are fewer blue and orange ions, and so it is not glowing so brightly. Strong base, there are lots of ions, so it's glowing brightly. Weak base, not very many purple and yellow, so not very many ions, so it glows less brightly. So the more ions present in solution, the more current that can be conducted because there'll be more charges moving per second. Now, strong acids and strong bases dissociate completely. So if I click onto here, you can see this arrow, it dissociates completely and that's why you have lots of ions present. Whereas weak acid and weak base, they don't have very many ions present because they only partially dissociate. So let's go back to this simulation by Greenbow. Uh, I've left the standard volume, but you can change the concentration and I'll just make it five. So it's a 0.5 mole per liter solution. That's what molarity means. And what you do is you can choose an acid to find out if it's a strong acid. And if it is, it'll glow brightly um, or the light bulb will glow brightly or if it's a weak acid. Um, and then you don't expect the light bulb to glow so brightly. So press connect and you can see it's glowing brightly. Disconnect, choose another acid. Connect up and you can see, is this a strong acid? What about this one? If I connect up, it doesn't glow so brightly. Is this a strong acid or a weak acid? Uh, weak acid? And you can try this with all the different acids and bases. Uh, well, all the different acids. You can do the same thing for a base. So here's a base, sodium hydroxide, connected up. Does it glow brightly? Yes. Would it be a strong base or a weak base? And let's do an example of ammonia. If I connect it up, so at the same concentration, it hardly glows. So think about why. So you can explore all those. The salt is, um, you would expect salts to always make that light bulb glow brightly because if the salt dissolves completely in a solution, then it will have broken up into its cation and anion. And so there'll be lots of ions present in solution. So you would expect all salts to glow brightly. Now you can also explore this by changing the concentration. So if I have HCl and I connect it, and then I change the concentration. So let me move it up to 25, and you can see it glows more brightly. I could make it then to 50, and so on. I could try the same thing with a weak acid. So if I have it connected, and I change this to 500. Oops, it doesn't like that. Sorry, I forgot about that. So if I change it to 99, you can see it glows more brightly. So the more concentrated the solution for a strong acid or a weak acid, the more ions will be present for that solution. And so it'll glow more brightly. Have fun exploring the the simulation. Goodbye.